now that our glue is dry, we're gonna like be a little creative. We're gonna give our fish some eyes. Let's see here. I have my markers out. Let's see what color we're gonna start with. Let's give our fish some gray. Let's do this one in some in a gray. This is gonna color in the circle that's cut out. And then I'll come back and put a little white dot. Let's do a gray. And let's do, uh, let's see. I wanna add some stripes to our fish. We can like, I don't know, add a little color. Little color to them. My paper's moving, sorry. Usually I have that like taped down. So we're going to add a little color. Maybe this is a little too much. All I really wanted to do was add some stripes and I've gotten carried away. So again, see, that's how art is. You make it to what you want it to be. And I was using blue. I think I want to use a little bit more color so, it can, um, so you can see it better. And I have some glitter pens. So I know this looks a little uh, different, but I have some glitter pens, so I'm gonna like I left a little bit around the edge. Should have left a little more on this side. That was the purpose of leaving it around the edge. So you can give your fish a little color. So his yellow is just not yellow. And his mouth is just not just a mouth. Let's finish his mouth right there. Let's like do a little circle around the eye. There we go. How's that? And then let's just like give him a fin over here on the side. And one on the bottom here. I know it's not under the bottom, but you know, we're just giving him a little color. That's enough, I think, on that one. So let's do this one. Let's do another one. Let's give him a different color. Well, I'd say that's enough. But keep going if you want him to have a little more color. I'm just being creative. Just trying to give him a little color. Let's do red and green on the next one. Like, here's a, here's a white one. So let's just like, let's draw a ring around the eye because we're gonna color that eye in. And we're gonna, these have fins, so giving them little stripes, which would be nice on his fins. Or you can color the whole thing in. It's white, so if you wanted him totally green or totally orange, you make him the color you want him to be. So, then he's a cute little fish. Let's give him some stripes on his tail. Let's go that way. And then he has some stripes on his tail. I think that looks quite cute. And let's color in his eye. Let's see here. The other fish eye was gray, so let's give him black. There we go. Eyes all colored in. I think I like the ring around here a little wider. So let's go a little wider and bring it in a little bit closer. That's what I'm doing. So what are you doing? Let me know, send me a picture. After you finish your picture, take a picture of it and text it to me. Send it to me 
so that um, I can see how much fun you had and tell me if you enjoyed it or not. So, okay. So we're gonna make this fish have red eyes. See, we're gonna leave that blue one so it has a blue, this one's blue and green. That was kind of cool. So the white had cutouts on it and the yellow doesn't. The only cutout I have are the eyes on one of on one of the yellow ones. And uh, we're just gonna do a, a green stripe going this way. Okay, there's our green stripe on that one. And maybe we'll do like a little green around the mouth right here. Give him a little mouth. Oh, that's cute. See a little yellow showing there? That's cute. Well, we colored the whole thing in over there. And let's give him an eye. And maybe a stripe here coming up the back. Ha. Huh. That looks good. So have fun with your fish. Create it however you want. So let's give the other ones a different color. Let's use orange and... We're gonna go back and make them a little shiny. We have... We have, um, I have some gel paint colors. Let's see here. Let's use this blue green and then I have a pink. We haven't used those. Let's use an orange. Orange and so we're going to add a little orange to this one. I'm going to switch my markers. These are fine points. I think I want to use a little wider tip. So we can cover. And I may go over some of the other ones. I may go over some of the other ones. Yeah. See, this has a little bit more wider tip, which makes it nicer. So then you're not like, your line isn't as fine, and I like that better. Aha. Uh -huh. So let's give him some orange stripes coming down the back. We're going to curve it a little bit. And we're gonna make it a little wider, come into a narrow point. And that's all we're gonna do on this one. And then we're gonna draw a circle around his eye. Oh, I like that one. I think I'll make both of these just the same to keep it simple. I think I'll make both of these. These are the same species. So I think I'll do that with the other white one as well. So I got one different white one and the rest of these will be the same. Yeah, like that. So here we go. We're on to the next one. 
Sorry, I get a little quiet when I'm like focusing on what I'm doing. I don't mean to be quiet because how boring would that be if I'm just not talking to you guys? Oh, and then I'm going to put a, a little tip right here. A little tip right there. A little tip right there. And then this one has, oops, I'm going to have to pull the seaweed up. Okay. Okay. So, and again, I say there is no wrong way to doing these things. You just have to do them. You do what you want to do. You do what you want to do to make it look like you want it to look. So now I'm going to color in his eyes. Oh, found my white. So let's go back and, and put a white on the eye right here. So now, because I colored black, so that one's going to be white. Okay, so now... Let's do something with, um, let's color in our eyes on the red fish. So, we're going to color them white. They look like they need white. Then we're going to come back and make a black dot for that one. On the red fish. And we're going to give them some white stripes. We're just going to give him some white stripes on the lower back of the fish and then on his tail. Just a little white. You can make it as wide as you want or you can make it um, a little narrow stripe like I'm doing. Oops, he moved a little bit. Well, let me go in there and fix that. And get that straight. So. Let's make that a little neater here. I can do better than that. Then we're going to go back with a black and put a little dot right there for the black eye so you can see his eye. Same on this one. So you can see his eye. And I don't have that one glued down all the way because I wanted it to give you a, a dimensional look like everything else I have going on here, like the tentacles here and not glued down on the end. They're just kind of floating there, which is kind of cool. And the sea urchin, let's give them some eyes, like some make it look like a little sea urchin. Give them like two little eyes on there. There you go. Now that looks like a little sea urchin. Let's color this in. I was gonna leave it blue. But I think I'm going to color in black. Blackish blue. Oh, yeah, that looks cool. So what do you think? And um, because I just made a circle and we're using a blue background, I think I'm just going to put a dot on these eyes. Like right there. We can do that. Give them a little eye right there. Make it as wide as you want. Or as tiny as you want. 
How's that? I think our picture is coming to life. Let's give him an eye. Let's color in this one. Let's move the seaweed out of the way so we can get underneath it and color it in. Okay, now let's go over here and we're gonna do the opposite on this one. We're gonna put a white dot on this one because we colored his eye darker. So we're gonna put a white eye on him. He does belong with the orange ones. He just happens to be a different color. So let's give him a white dot. Oh, we can give this one a white dot too. Now, how's that? Let's see. Where else should we put a little color? How about in the seashell? Do you think we should give that a little color? I think we should. I think we should color it like a, a dark blue, possibly. Let me find my white tip so we can color it a dark blue. Which I don't see. Oh well. Gotta use this one then. Oops. I messed up right there. So, no such thing as messing up. When you color out a line, and that's an easy fix. Then you just trim it to make it look nice and smooth. That way, we color in this dark. It looks like it's in the water. It's making a deep. It looks like it's a shadow behind it. That's the effect we're going for. Making it look like it's a shadow behind it. Oops. I'm going to have to trim this one too. So give your shell, your shellfish some shadows in the cutouts. But if you didn't cut yours out like this and your shell is a little different, then um, create it and give it the color you want. I think it's more fun when we're using the same tools and uh, when we have all the same parts and we're coloring together. So if you want, if you would like some cutouts, then just send me a message and we can do that. I have a couple of more little air bubbles left. I think I'm gonna stick them right there because I see a little glue that I put on here that dried up clear, but I could see it. So let's cover it up. And that's the beauty of art. There's no wrong art. There's no right art. Not when you're having fun. You just, you just do the best you could do and make it look like air bubbles. I have a whole package of these little things, even though I didn't put them all on here. So you can like just roll them around so they stick. There we are. So that's that. That is that. Let's see here. Shall we do anything to the tentacles or the octopus? Because we've left him totally out of the picture. And the starfish. We have like a center there. I think I'm going to leave that there. We have the pink one kind of underneath uh, the tentacles there, which is cool. So, so I think now maybe we'll give our seaweed a little more color. How about that? Let's make some, some, let's make it a little darker in spaces. I think it's kind of cool the way it looks. 
but I think it'll look cooler if we like did a trim on it. Went around and did a trim. So if we can do a trim on our seaweed, give it like a little more definition, I think that would be cool. And it doesn't have to be all over. We can just do it in spots because we want some darker than others, some lighter than others. Like for instance, this one. It's so narrow. So let's color it. Let's color it, give it a little more darker. Let's color the tips. Then that give it a little more added, added attraction to it. Yeah, let's, let's do a little trim on the top of this one. I'm just going to do the top. Oops. Now that I have my picture, I am going to take it off this tray. And the reason I'm taking it off this tray is because it will be a little easier for me to color it and hold it still where I want to color. Sorry, I was moving it out of the picture. Let me get it back in the picture. Oh, that's so much easier. So we just need to keep it in the tray. So when it was, um, when we were gluing and trying to keep our pieces together, then that was helpful. But now we've gotten past that point, we can take it out the tray so we can color better. Because the tray had like a little edge on it. It was kind of getting in our way. So now I can go and touch up things because it was in my way. So we're going to go around and trim all the edges. Just like that. Some more than others. Except for under here, we'll just trim what we can. Because the tentacles are in the way. Which makes it even more creative. You kind of like doing your own thing with the tentacles in the way. You can just do what you can do. Or if you want to color the whole thing, just go ahead and color it. It's your picture. Hmm. Be creative on your picture, my fans. So, like, this one's in the way. So we're going to, like, just color it a little darker just so you can see it. Just the tip of that one. That's behind that redfish. Did you see what I did just now? Okay. And here's another one. Okay, so here on the edge of the seaweed, I think we'll do a little something there too, because that's the edge of it on the edge of the paper. So because we're on the edge of the paper, we're gonna trim it a little bit. So it's just a little more defined on the end of the paper. And it doesn't have to be straight because of course this is seaweed. So there's no straight, you know, so if you just need it to come out like I just did right there, then it's seaweed, it's okay. You know, if you colored out the line and it's a little, 
and the line isn't straight, just be creative. Make it ziggly. You can make it a little wiggly like that. Or you can make it straight. Like this one, this one's straight. So you create and you do you. I don't know, what is your imagination telling you? To create the picture, use whatever color you want to use, creating the picture, but you do you. Because it is your art. And I know that I am creating art too, but your picture doesn't have to look like mine. So let's just see how creative you could be. Show us your creativity, take a picture, and share it with us. That's the cool part. Share it with us. Aha, uh -huh. here's something we can do. Let's get our starfish because you know, everything under the, in the sea, in the aquarium is live. So let's give our little starfish some eyes. We didn't give our starfish any eyes. We give our fish eyes, but we didn't give our starfish any eyes. So let's give him some eyes. And how about these baby starfish? Oops. <laughs> Been so busy gluing down everything else. We didn't even glue this down. So let's glue them down before we give them some eyes. Did y'all realize we didn't glue these down? Well, let's do that really quick. Just put a little dab on it and put it where you want. Yeah, I think we're gonna stay near the shell. So now, now we're gonna close our glue. I think we have everything glued down this time. So here we go. Let's give him some eyes. These are little, so we're gonna put the eyes way down there. Where we put the eyes way up there on that one. And that one. So, so what do you think? What do you think, my fans? That's our aquarium. So again, I say, if you would like the whole kit where the paper, where everything is cut out and card stock paper, then send me, a, send me a message and order one. This has been fun. Thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like me. Send me your comments and also share your picture with me. Have a great day.